gonna be strip baiting some Benito for down at Fraser. But um, let's see, put it up on the camera. They're nice little Benito. They're caught off the trawlers. We always uh do a big order before Fraser, and we're gonna try something different. We're actually gonna um strip bait them and salt them so uh they kind of toughen it so it doesn't really fall off the hook as easy. Let me show you that. Pretty thick. But I'll make a few cuts. I'll show you how to do it actually. So all I do is go down the back here, follow the knife down here. So I follow the knife down the backbone. Same on the other side near the stomach. And then it's as simple as doing little whatever size preference you, whatever you want, what you're fishing for, it depends. And just cut down here, you make a few slabs. I'll um I'll show you how to do it first. So I can do is go down this side. Like I've done before. Pretty simple. Go down this side. Like that. And then simply grab your knife. Whatever you whatever you prefer, how however thick you want. Slide that knife down. Preferably a sharper knife, easier to do. Grab it straight under. Cut that off. And then there's a strip. Beautiful strip. We went Fraser, people caught dart, whiting, everything on the tailor. Tailor for the bigger chunks, usually up here, longer, maybe fit two hooks in it. But I'll I'll get a few get a few slices together and I'll get back to you. Alrighty, so I filled it up two of the Benito. And what I'm gonna try is something different. I'm gonna put some just some cheap table salt. I'm just gonna lay that on the bottom of this little container that I was holding it in before. Which was, just give this a clean real quick. I've opened that. I'm just going to put a fair bit in that, just covering that table salt again. So now we have a little concoction of table salt and rock salt just sitting on the bottom. Just spread out evenly, mixed up together. Now we're going to grab our little cuts of bonito and we're just going to lay them, lay them in the salt. So get a few of them, just lay them in there like that evenly across the salt, face down, I don't know, whatever you like. It's the first time doing this, but apparently it's good results. Makes it, um, makes the meat hold to the skin a bit better, according to a mate from we went fishing with a while ago. Chuck those in there. Try and get all the bottom covered so I'm not wasting any room. These little bits are good. Just chuck on a little long shank or Really, whatever you want to do with it. Try that, just so it's in contact with the salt. Okay, so once I have it evenly coated, 
there's no more pretty much no more salt covering that it's pretty good i'm just going to do another little layer over the top so pull that in just a little bit just over the top a little bit of rock salt and then repeat the process again i'll um i'll get back to you once I'll finish this first tub. Alrighty, now as you can see, we've gone from whole bonito, let's get a close up for that baby, to slices, which are in this. And now what I've done is just, as you saw me do before, laid of rock salt, table salt, and now hopefully, fingers crossed, that'll work a dream and uh, form like a jerky, like a jerky type of meat, so it just holds better in the hook. Cheers. Now, I'm just gonna cut shed move this mattress to uh, the fridge, shed a hectic fishing. Bloody legend over here, bait board for the front. Anyway, I'll show you that later on our Fraser trip. So now, this is our bait freezer. She's pretty full, I'll actually show you what we've done with the pillies. So last year, when they're on, they're on, like they come in school, so I'll get this out for you. We've cryvac packs of pillies, so I think they're 13 a pack. And we chuck these dogs in our um, little Albi side bags. So quick access, chuck them in the side of your bag, down your hip, chuck them on your gangs, and you're ready to go. So um, yeah, so we've just finished one of these bad boys. I'm running out of containers, I'm gonna around at the shop and get a few, but that's all salted and I don't know, I might just chuck it in here, see how we go with the other bonito. I'm just gonna chuck this, this in here, see how it goes and um, I'm gonna go finish those other fish. Cheers for watching boys. Um, I wasn't gonna record it, but one tip I will give you guys is I find when these, when these bonito get really soft and defrost a lot, I find it really hard to keep the meat in contact with the skin. So if you're going to be filleting these, I recommend doing it when it's half defrost. The center's a bit, a bit hard, but if you go sharp knife, it goes through like, like nothing. But just saying, when it gets a bit softer, they're harder to fill it, in my personal opinion. Don't have anybody else, but so I recommend just doing it like right now. It's pretty tough, but having that sharper knife really makes a difference when filleting anything really. Let's come back down. Once you get the hang of it, slide up that. Or not. Didn't make a deep enough cut here. Let's go down like that. That backbone. Backbone just comes straight off. There's another simple fillet. Left over the head fell off, but that's all right. It's going in pot anyway. Not bad. Oi, you want some, mate? Hungry. Just grab that in a good piece. Ready? Oh. That's it, guys. Uh, cheers for tuning in. Little bait hack I thought I'd do before heading off to Fraser. So, uh, yeah. Make sure you like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. Profit fishing and um yeah video coming soon